Good morning and welcome in. I am the Canadian trucker Rudy and I am here with Diego. I'm trucker's Rudy's son. Well, thank you guys for joining my channel and stay tuned for the rest of my day. to go pick up a load over there and then we're going to Arkansas yep. so let's get down the road and get some miles in today alrighty guys we just finished loading up here in Vassar now we got our peat moss on now it's a waiting game what I mean by that is uh, highway 12 it's a waiting game for me to get my border crossing cleared because we are just basically like three miles away from the border uh, basically luckily enough there is a little small truck stop up there and so what I'm gonna do is uh, go down there and uh, probably just go inside and grab me a bite to eat and then uh, hopefully we get our border crossing cleared soon yeah, that usually takes about two, three hours before we get our border crossing clear. So, highway twelve. Because we're so close to the border, it uh, <laughs> it's never fast enough. Oh well. But I'm happy. At least we got our load on. It's still fairly early, so. I can still go and make some miles even if it takes three hours to get the load cleared. Well, I guess if it's three hours, it would be five o'clock because it's two o'clock right now or just after two. Yep. Well, hopefully they don't have any big fires up here soon because uh, it's pretty dry and they've been having some fire issues lately so hopefully the guys are not putting uh, cigarette butts out here and are not following the laws you know because they got a fire ban on right now you're not even allowed to have an open fire out there on the yard even. Anyways, let's get down over there to the truck stop and uh, hurry up and wait, I guess. <laughs> I have a couple of clips up here that are from uh, getting inspected by a DOT. And I figured I would show you guys a little bit of these clips just to give some of the guys uh, that are new to this industry or that are thinking about getting into this industry and stuff like that. Just giving them a couple of clips. I hope you guys will enjoy these videos too, but just giving you guys a couple of clips on uh, what to expect when you get inspected by a DOT officer. So here they are. Hope you guys enjoy it. Some of it might be boring to you guys, but hey, I figure I'll show it to you guys anyways. Hi there. How's it going there? Oh, very good, thank you. How about yourself? Oh, I can't complain. No? The weather's great. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> a 
last time we looked at you? Yeah, a couple of months ago. Was that me or somebody else? I believe it was you. Okay. Yeah, I believe it was you. Cool. I, remember, I remember your face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you up to your loaded. Loaded? Loaded? Where are you Pete, going? Pete Moss, I got I to go to uh, Arkansas. Arkansas? Yeah. Pete Moss? Yeah. yeah. I guess they're getting ready for summer, eh? Well, they better be ready because, you know, <laughs> up here it's to be over in about a month. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Driver's license? Yes, sir. <clears throat> there you are. Bill leading? Yes, sir. Registration book? Yep. There you are. And a uh, logbook. Alright. You want the uh, last seven day obviously too, yep. right? Alright. I'll go get that for you, okay? We'll go grab some information off the trailer. Yep. Turn the key on. All right, go ahead and push in both your tractor and trailer buttons there. Get your hand away from there. Thank you. All right, give me a brake application. Hold it. Okay. Press the button in first. No, just just push on the brake right now. Okay. All right, go ahead and release. No, either pump her down or hold the button in, whatever. Get the okay. light, lights come on. That's good. Alright, go ahead and start the truck. Alright. Alright, next thing we we'll do is check for movement of the fifth wheel. What? Movement of the fifth wheel. Oh, okay. So go ahead and release your tractor brake. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Just a little, just yeah. a little talk, nothing too okay. crazy. Here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right, let's your triangle. Yeah. I got the triangles up in here. Okay. You keep them inside? Yeah, I keep oh, them in okay. here, yeah. That's good. That's good That's enough great. for you? Yeah. Okay. And I got the uh, fire exchanger and the cubby hole on the side. Okay. And if you got some gloves, I'm going to want to look at your fuel tank too. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Maybe we're going to get some rain this afternoon. Yeah, probably. We're talking maybe a little bit, but... Fire exchanger right there. License. All right. No leading. Registration. And logbook. All right. All right. Basically, uh, no violations. All right. That's what you're looking for, right? <laughs> yep. That's all. You know, uh, turn into a company, but since there's no violations, no further action. All right. Any well, questions? No. No, I think I. I'm okay. <laughs> All right, you have a safe trip. Well, thank you, yeah. sir. Alrighty, guys. We just got inspected again. And we passed. Yeah, we like it that way. Of course we do. Oh, yeah. I'm 
very happy about that, you know? Now we're going to try and get down the road and make some miles. Got across the border and these guys, they sit up here uh, just past the border quite often. So, uh, yeah, if you're coming across the Roseau, Minnesota border, you want to make sure your paperwork is in order. Well, I guess you should always make sure your paperwork is in order, but especially up here. There, he's going to inspect you, that's for sure. And don't be driving any kind of farmer fuel either. He's always checking the fuel to make sure you're not uh, using farmer fuel either. So, Anyways, we passed. That's all that matters. Yes, sir. -y. Hey, guys. We are in North Dakota. In uh, Fargo, North Dakota, that is. And I'm sitting here at the lineup for a truck wash. We're gonna go get ourselves a truck wash. Yeah, truck is pretty dirty already, and I figured, ah, let's go in here and get a good truck wash done, and that way I can look nice, nice clean truck when I go south, eh? Anyways, let's pull up a little bit here and wait, uh, wait for the next guy to pull out. Well, guys, we are still in Fargo. I uh, had a truck wash done and then I went over to the uh, Petro truck stop where I really enjoy to go and have my favorite chicken alfredo for dinner and I got some bad news the restaurant is closed down <laughs> well what can you do eh oh well Nothing I can really do about it, so uh, hey, well, I went and asked the guy in there and asked him how long they're planning to do the renovation and what they're going to do, and he says they're they're actually closing the restaurant for good. No, well, they're not saying they're not going to be another restaurant in there. They're saying there there's going to be a uh, different restaurant in there, and he even said that. Uh, the even the gas stations up there to fill up your car is completely shut down so somebody must have purchased them or something per bought them out or something but uh hey eh, yeah it's just my two spiel of it so we're done for today ready for bed so you guys have yourself a good day and we will see you again tomorrow at 2 a.m thank you guys for watching